What if you had a book that helped you create a habit of creating a beautiful garden that you loved? Not just any book, but a book about making gardening a habit in your life. This week's book chat, we're going to talk just about that. Hello, my friend, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to do something we haven't done in a long time here on the channel, and that is book chat. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sherry. This is my garden here just outside of Boulder, Colorado. And why books and gardening? What's that all about? Am I going to be talking to you about a gardening book today? No, I am not. <laughs> I am going to be talking to you about the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. An easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. So who has a bad habit? I, I have one or two, maybe, maybe, but we won't talk about that too much. You know, I was thinking just as I was getting ready to do this, when I was in school, back grade school, we would get our reading list for the summer. Did you, did you have that happen to you where you'd get your reading list for the summer? And it was so exciting to pick out the books that I really wanted to read and then see who could get to the library first to get the books so you didn't have to wait, you know, three quarters of the summer to get it. But that was back when summer school, summer was three months long and we had three months to read through the books. And I did... I did my fair amount of reading back in the day, but I really wanted to bring this book today because one thing you may or may not know is that gardening, to be a good gardener, you've got to have a habit of gardening. And as I listened to this while I was gardening yesterday, because I, when I have a book that I really like, I like to listen to it um, on Audible, and then I like to list. I like to get the hard copy to you know look in and see what what is this. And this book is one of the best books I believe there is on habits. Now I recently went through my library in my office here at home, and I cleaned out a lot of books, a lot of books. <coughs> and I, um, excuse me just a second. I'm going to get a little drink of something. It is a hot one here today. I don't know if it's hot where you are, but it's hot here. Um, but I'm going to gather it's probably hot where you are too. Uh, but I, I went through my books and there was a lot that I just said, you know what? You know, I was a business coach, uh, for the last 25 years. I have, now I'm doing gardening things and I say semi-retirement. I don't even like the word retirement, but I'm doing something different than I was doing for 25 years. I've been an entrepreneur most of my career. And so I had a lot of books on, you know, small business and motivation. And so there's some books as I went through my bookshelves that I'll never like sales. How do you know, how did, I did keep my Zig Ziglar book because I love Zig Ziglar, uh, but there was just some that I didn't keep anymore. Uh, Mike McCallowitz Profit First. I just kept that because, yeah, Mike's a friend and and there was that. But there is I went through a big stack of books, big stack of books that I um, am giving away. So this is one that I kept, Atomic Habits. And um, why is the reason... I hear so many people all the time say to me, oh, I would love to garden, but A, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, and I just kill plants. Well, I believe that if you're killing plants, it's because you don't have a good habit around plants. Now, do I kill plants? Mm -hmm, I sure do. This summer, as I just shared in this week's vlog, I am dealing with grasshoppers. We just had a breach in our fencing that we've put up uh, about a half an hour ago, which is why I'm still sweating, uh, because they had, I, I swear, they like dug under the, the fence. Anyway, uh, but but it's it's got it. You've got to have that dedication and yeah, I have a little more time to garden now, but I raised two kids. I had a business. At one time, I had a business with 12 employees before I became a coach. You know, like I've had a full life, but I have always managed for the last, oh, probably 40, 35 years, I would say, uh, to to make garden a 
gardening a part of my habit, something that I do every, not every day, but, and it's one of the reasons that I like living here in 6A because our season is from, yeah, about beginning of May, middle of May till the um, middle to the end of September and October sometimes. It depends. Um, our frost dates change a lot, but I like having that so that I have the winter to, re to recuperate <laughs> and to have time. But what I would ask you today as you think about reading Atomic Habits is to think about where you are with your habits. And he tells some really lovely stories throughout the book that I think that you will enjoy. He does some research. He has some scientific things. But one of the things that he said that really hit home with me is about don't be vague with your time. Are you saying yes to too many things that you really don't want to be doing that you have to do? If there's too many have to's in your life, I would encourage you to rethink it and really look at, you know, if gardening is something you've been wanting to do, start small. He also talks about that of like step by step. Don't just jump in. Sometimes we get, you know, like, let's, let's go do this whole garden back here. This garden has taken me, I've been gardening in this garden for 30 years. So it's taken me 30 years to get all these beds. And I've added a bed here and a bed there. And I, one of the reasons that I like to grow things in uh, a garden bed is because I, I can, you know, that bed has this in it and I can get through it without feeling overwhelmed. When I first moved to this property, I planted in the ground and I, I had a, uh, I had an eight month old and a two year old. And I thought I was going to lose my mind, honestly, because there was so much to do. Um, but look at your garden and environment and think of having a garden, like having a relationship. He talks about your habit as a relationship. You have a relationship with this habit. And if I um, do something then I'm going to be able to go out in my garden and just hang out for a while or go chase grasshoppers, which isn't something I love to do, but it's something that I want to do because it gets me to doing the things that I love of seeing a new flower bloom that I've never had before. Just there's so many rewards in gardening and I'm not here to sell you on gardening. I'm really here to sell you on atomic habits. Um, but it's really looking at the environment and what it would be. And maybe you only have room to, to garden on your balcony. Maybe you live in an apartment and you just have this balcony that you can garden on. And that's cool. And how do you set that up? But the thing of it is, and this is what I see happen, is that people, and they, that's why it's nice if you can set up a drip irrigation system or something simple. And there's some really good ones out there these days. Um, but, um, and, and, then, and then surrounding yourself with, people with positive mindset that are encouraging you, not going, oh, are you going out to that garden again? Sometimes my husband does say that to me because, you know, ugh, you know, I am a little fanatic about it these days. Um, but, but saying yes, not saying yes to things that are going to derail you and take you farther away from it. So let's say you have the balcony garden, but you, and a friend said, let's go somewhere, but you need to run home and water, let's say, I don't know, I'm just pulling this out of thin air, but you know, of stopping and saying, no, I got to go home and do that, but then I can go do something, you know? So anyway, looking around at those ideas, um, but it's, it's an implementation. I, I loved what he said is that it's an implementation of your intentions. And so how are you going to get there step by step? And it might be little baby steps and it should be little baby steps. Like don't plant a whole garden, plant a bed, you know, one container and see how that goes and go from there. And then you add from there and, and, and get people around you who are enthusiastic about gardening too. It makes a big difference or whatever it is, your endeavor. Um, just give your habits, the time and space to live in this world with you. You know, my sister is a very avid runner. She absolutely loves to run. I do not love to run at all. So 
Um, my sister plans her life around her running because it's that important to her. She had at one point in time, a doctor had said she couldn't run anymore because her feet just couldn't take, take it. Well, she proved that doctor wrong. And I think that's the piece of it. And she has a group of women that she runs with and she's made it a part of her social life as well. And that's the same with gardening of having friends who garden and that you can talk about it and share things and ideas and, and all of that. Um, uh, I think that's about really all I wanted to say, because I wanted to keep this short and sweet. So you'd have time to go either get the book Again, great way to garden is I have about three books on Audible right now that I am um, listening to. One's a novel, another is kind of a political satire, shall we say, and um, and then I've been listening to this as well. So I hope that this inspires you to think about your habits a little bit more. Either get it on Audible, you know, if you're driving, it's a great time to listen, but really start to think about, he has what he calls a habit tracker and something to help you to start tracking your habit because otherwise things can just kind of go up into thin air. Oh yeah, I was going to do that last year, but I never did. But what if you had a habit tracker and you wrote down every time you did it, or if you started to keep track of things you were growing or wanted to grow or flowers that you loved, et cetera, et cetera. I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to grow you because if we don't grow ourselves, who are we going to grow? Onward we grow and I'll see you next week. Take good care. Thanks for growing with us. And we will see you next time. And in the meantime, be sure to like, comment, let us know what really resonated for you in this video. And then, of course, be sure to subscribe at no cost to you and be updated when we have new videos up to play.